Good morning, saints. We like to thank the Lord this morning for uh, another day, the gift of life, the very breath in our body. We like to take our reading this morning from the book of Exodus, chapter two, and verse eleven. The Bible tells us it says that it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, he went out unto his brethren and he looked on their burdens. And he spied an Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren. He looked this way and that way, and when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Amen. Praise God. So even as when we read the scripture of Moses and when we hear the scriptures and the stories of Moses, we know that he grew up in the house of Pharaoh. Amen. And Pharaoh's daughter has taken him as her own son, and he has brought up in the palace. He learned the ways of the Egyptian. He was taught as an Egyptian, and he grew up his whole life, amen, around the Egyptians. But there was something inside of him, amen, that didn't set well. That he, he the Bible says that he spied. He went out looking unto his brethren, unto the Hebrews. His mother would have taught him, amen. Growing up. Even as she began tutoring him and uh, growing him up, amen, in Pharaoh's house, she would have taught him the word of the Lord. And we see there came a time in in Moses' life, amen, that he had to make a choice. Many times there come a time in our life where we need to make a choice, amen, that where we uh, can't remain neutral, amen. I think it was Billy Graham that says, he says that, uh, they remain a greater place in hell for the people that remain neutral in the greater things of life. Amen. And we see how, uh, yeah, the Bible tells us that when Moses saw the Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, it, it bothered him. Amen. He, he saw the affliction that was upon his brother and, and he couldn't take it no more. And he, and he slew and he killed this Egyptian, amen. And it, it was a type of Moses killing the Egyptian from within him, amen. Something didn't set right, amen. And he had to, he came, <coughs> he came to a place in his life, to a junction in a time of his life where he, he had to make a choice, amen. And after killing this Egyptian, the Bible tells us that uh, the next, very next day, he came out and he, began he saw two men quarreling against each other and he began to speak to him and they began threatening him say you're going to kill us as well and moses knew that it went the news went traveled throughout the land and he began fleeing for his life amen and even as when he uh, fled for his life into the wilderness and the bible tells us amen further down in the scripture it says now the priest of modern had seven daughters and they came and drew water and filled a trough to water their father's flock. And the shepherds came and drove them away, but Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. And when they came to reveal their father, he said unto it, How is it that ye come so soon today? And I want you to notice the very next scripture it says, And they said, An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherd. So even though Moses killed the Egyptian and he fled for his life, amen, typing that he's killing the Egyptian within him. When he fled for his life, being in the wilderness, amen, he, he still looked like an Egyptian. He still conducted himself as an Egyptian. He maybe still had his Egyptian attire on, amen. And many times we uh, come to that point in life where we have a halfway conversion, amen. God don't want halfway Christians, but God wants a completely, fully sold out, surrendered soul to Him and Him alone, amen. The Bible says you cannot serve two masters, amen. You'll hate one and please the other, amen. And when we see that Moses, when he came to this time, he, even though he was uh, going into the wilderness, fleeing for his life, but he, he still conducted himself as an Egyptian. He had a halfway conversion, amen. And then the Bible tells us, amen, that he, he met Jethro, his father-in-law, amen, and he gave him his daughter Zipporah to uh, 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 become 
his wife, amen. And the Bible says that they stayed and he had to go in the backside of the desert. The prophet of God tells us that he had to go in the backside of the desert and God had to strip him of the, all that he had learned into the house of Pharaoh. He had to take on all his education and all his military training till, amen, that he, he didn't depend on those abilities and those abilities became to not him. And many times we want to depend on our own strength, but our own strength will fail us, amen. But the strength of God never fails us. And we see, amen, even as a revelation tells us, blessed is he, uh, blessed is he that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written, amen. It's important to keep the word of the Lord, amen, keep his commandments, amen. And he says, there and for the time, is at hand amen and we see the blessings of god when you keep his word amen even as in exodus 6 amen now after moses has been in the backside of the desert god has spoken moses had a burning bush experience and now the lord says then the lord said unto moses now thou shalt see what i will do to pharaoh for with a strong hand he shall let them go and with a strong hand he shall drive them out of his land and god spoke unto moses says i am the lord and i appeared unto abraham isaac and jacob by the name of god almighty but by my name jehovah was i not known unto them and i've also established my covenant with them to give them a land of canaan the land of their pilgrimage where they were strangers so we see after moses had a burning bush experience after he he was uh, filled and went amen with the spirit of god he says the lord appeared unto moses and he says unto him go now in my strength go now that we can defeat you see the, even as the bible says amen blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of the prophecy amen for the Bible tells us, it's clear, it says, Blessed are they that read it and hear the words of the prophecy, amen. And even as we see, as Moses had to uh, kill that Egyptian from within, on the inside, amen, before God could use him. Many times we need um, to kill that Egyptian within us, amen, that uh, uh, it, uh, so we, God can use us, amen, even as we heard on Sunday how uh, uh, David, amen, the year to, first Saul had to die before David had to come into power. The soul within us needs to die. We need to kill that soul from within us, amen, in order for David to reign on the throne, amen, in order, many times, the uh, sufferings and persecutions will bring out the David within us, amen, David had to go and defeat the giant in order, amen, to endure that victory, many times we have to kill that very giant, amen, that's defeating us, a giant of, uh, uh, the giant that maybe we, we may have a temper, amen. That may be our giant. Maybe we have a, a lust problem or a doubting problem, amen. But we gotta conquer those giants, amen, in order for us to have victory, amen. We see even as Jacob and Esau, amen. Esau sold his birthright for a, a, a bowl of pottage, amen. What is your price this morning, amen? Judas's price was 30 pieces of silver, amen. What is your price this morning? Even as Esau sold his birthright, amen, he, he found that that pottage meant more to him at that time, amen. Even as the Bible tells us, amen, in uh, James, I think in James 1, it says, but every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust. Many times we're drawn away by our own lust and our own desires, and that's the very thing, that very giant that comes and defeats us, amen. But God has given us the power to overcome. He says, how did he overcome the devil, amen? He said, it is written by the word he overcame him, amen. And I like what the prophet of God says. He says, God never did deal with a group nowhere in the scriptures. He deal with one individual, amen. He's dealing with you and I this morning. He's dealing with us this very hour, he says, because every man is different from the other. 
every man our thumbs are different our nose are different our actions are different amen Saul and David were different from one another amen he says he gets one man till he can get him perfectly in harmony till he can become that word god is shaping us is molding us amen even as Saul was persecuting David amen but that was molding the character within David amen that when he be a better king when he sitting on the throne and god is shaping you and I this morning that we will be overcomers we will be uh, sons and daughters amen that live and reign with the lord amen it is till he become that word That's the reason Paul says he said except I get exalted above the abundance of the revelation there was given to me a messenger of Satan he says Matthew wrote Luke wrote Mark wrote all of them but they just followed Jesus and wrote what he said but Paul he said had the revelation I'm your first can pray say lord I will not leave you till you give me the revelation amen the prophet said Paul had a revelation of who he was that's the thing he says his revelation was so great he let him write the bible like moses of the old testament that great man paul that revelation he had he knew that jesus of the new testament was jehovah of the old he had the revelation of it and he could place it to the hebrews and to the romans and to ephesians and all He wrote those letters amen. So we see how God amen he deals with the individual heart. Even as we heard the story of how the prophet God says there was an Indian man, an Indian chief amen and he he said there's two dogs that's fighting inside of him there's a white dog and a black dog and they ask him which one wins. He says the one that he feeds most amen. Which one are we feeding on this morning amen? Are we feeding on the body of word of God or we are feeding amen the pleasures of this world the desires and the lust of this world amen and all the desires of this world would come to naught amen but we know the word of God is true and it endures forever amen god bless you gracious god and eternal father lord how we love you how we appreciate you lord help us to have that burning bush experience like moses had father help us to have the conversion like paul had lord help us lord to come like how david came before you oh god so much so that you said he was a man after your own heart lord father help us to kill that egyptian within us kill the worldly desires within us lord and seek you take up our cross and follow you lord in jesus christ we pray in us god bless church